Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what are the different career opportunities or career choices you will have if you do your MTech in CSE from India. That means if you do your MTech from any IITs and ISC after your BTech. So a lot of people have this confusion that why should I do MTech? Uh, because people think that you know even after BTech also we are getting high package jobs then you know what is the point of dedicating few years for preparing for gate and then again two years for you know doing the MTech and and then getting getting a job after that so what are the different career opportunities that I will get for that I will be motivated enough to do all these you know hard work I can assure you that you know after you do your MTech from IITs uh, you will get a lot of opportunities uh, in terms of a career perspective which you might not get after your BTEC. And what are they? That I am going to discuss in this video in detail. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned in the video till end. And before starting the video, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that when you upload a video, you will get a notification. Without further ado, let's get started into today's video. So the first career option or career choice that you'll be getting after completing your MTech in CSE from this IIT and ISC is software developer role or SD role. So this is pretty common among all the companies. Almost all the companies used to offer uh, these roles, these HD roles. Because in all companies, uh, there is a part uh, where software development will be included and they need uh, a team of people to do that work. So that's why all the companies who is to visit these IITs and ISC for placement, they have a HD role offered uh, for BTEC and MTech students. This is not something special about MTech. This is also offered to the BTEC people. And even during your BTEC days also this kind of offers you might get from, from your college. So that's why there is no specific thing about it. It's pretty common role that is uh, that is offered to CSE people. And what are the skill set needed? Frankly speaking, no specific skill set that will be learned in MTech will be needed. So the two things will be needed here to crack uh, HD role uh, interview. One is your solid understanding of algorithmic design. That means you should know how to design algorithm, which is time and space uh, efficient. And the second thing is your competitive coding skill. That is, that is very important because you need to do a lot of coding in order to crack this kind of interview. Now, in, uh, for, in the interview for SD role, you will be asked to solve a problem. Uh, so a problem or scenario will be given to you and you need to design an algorithm again which is time and space uh, efficient uh, you have to propose it and then finally you have to do the coding uh, to solve the problem so that's why your your understanding of the algorithm is very important and your coding skill is will be very important and you can expect a very rigorous coding round here uh, for for SD role interview so you need to be very good in, 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 in coding in any specific languages. So if you are aiming for a HD role or software developer role, the only course or only curriculum that I will recommend you that you take this algorithm design course that will be offered in the first semester in any IITs and ISC. So don't forget to take that course uh, because that will be an advanced level course for algorithm design that will obviously, you know, make your skill set on algorithm design even more efficient. So that course I will recommend you and, and, and solve as much as coding as possible throughout your uh, MTech days also so that during your interview you will be able to solve the coding uh, that will be given to you uh, during your interview round. So the next role that will be offered to you or that could be a career choice for you is a data scientist role. Uh, this is a role that is in demand among the students nowadays with the advancement of artificial intelligence and machine learning. And this role on average offers more package than the all the other roles and most of the big product based companies like Amazon, Flipkart, LinkedIn, Microsoft, Walmart Labs, they used to offer data scientist role uh, for the students who are doing MTech from IITs and ISC and also there are a lot of startups that are coming up. They also used to offer uh, data scientist role uh, to the students uh, both in campus and off campus. So this is a role everyone wants to be associated with and this is this is something that every student is fascinated about nowadays. So depending on these different companies, this role has different names like in Amazon they call it, uh, call it as applied scientist, in Flipkart they call it data scientist or you know data analyst. Uh, in, in other companies, they have machine learning engineers or machine learning research stuff. So these kind of roles, uh, the name varies. Now, in order to do well in this particular role, you need to learn machine learning and artificial intelligence. And that's why you need to credit some course during your MTech days. Uh, 
related to AI and machine learning. So the basic machine learning course obviously you have to take but with that you, you should take some course that is some related areas of machine learning like natural language processing or maybe reinforcement learning, uh, computer vision. So these kind of course also you try to take uh, so that you know you can you can build your skill set on, on, on these different areas. And also try to do one thing that try to do some some sort of course project uh, from these courses. Uh, you know the benefit of doing a course project is that you can you can showcase this course project into your CV and that will be helpful for you during your placement interview. And also at the same time as a MTech project also try to be associated with some professor who is working on AI and machine learning and also try to do work in a project which is related to AI and machine learning. Because what happened is whenever these you know big product based companies used to visit the campus. Uh, they, they do a lot of CV shortlisting and they used to check your CV in, in detail and if they find something interesting, some project that is very interesting then they will give you an edge uh, because they find that if you join the company you will help them in their work which might be on the similar direction on which you are also doing your uh, master's project or you have done some sort of course project in some course. So that's why you know your course project and your final year project in AI and machine learning is very important if you want to get into data scientist profile in some big companies like Amazon or LinkedIn or Flipkart. Now coming to the coding skill that will be needed obviously for data science role also you have to go through a coding round but here unlike SD role you don't need a rigorous you know coding practice to crack this uh, coding round. So typically they used to ask you a medium level uh, you know questions the difficulty level will be medium only so that's why if you practice for 2-3 months before your interview that will be sufficient. The next career choice or opportunity is uh, system architecture or system designer. So if you are someone who is not interested in SD role who is not interested to go for data science profile and if your interest lies in system level uh, you know areas where you want to be a system architect or system designer in some companies then the, you, you also have a lot of opportunities after MTech. So big system companies like Dell, Intel, uh, HP, AMD, Samsung, Nvidia, Qualcomm. So these companies used to offer a lot of uh, you know system related roles like system architect or you know OS designer, compiler designer. This kind of role is to be been offered to these people. And in, in system, you know, thankfully there is no startup. All the companies are big sorts and they are well known. So that's why you will have a good amount of package also will be offered from, from these companies. And if you want to do well in, 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 in system level uh, interviews, yeah, try to get as much as system level course during your MTech days. And again, try to get associated to the professor as, a, as your MTech uh, thesis guide uh, who, who is working on system, le system level areas and so that you know you can do your MTech in, in, in system. So that will obviously be an edge uh, during your interview in, in these companies. And here also, you know, as, as I said in my many previous videos that for system coding plays a big role. So that's why you need to be a very good uh, coder in order to crack uh, this kind of interview. Next is R&D role or research and development role. So if you're someone who is uh, interested in doing research and maybe uh, immediately after MTech you are not interested to, to go for PhD, you want to work in some R&D lab for some time and then you want to go for PhD after a couple of years. Uh, but unfortunately, you don't have much option after MTech uh, to join any R&D lab because in India, most of the you know so-called renowned R&D labs like Google Research India or Microsoft Research India or Adobe Research, IBM Research, they prefer to choose PhD student for the you know kind of research scientist or similar kind of uh, role. So that's why after MTech you won't find uh, the suitable R&D role in these uh, different uh, famous R&D labs. So you have few options uh, that is there for you uh, if you are interested to do research for few years after your MTech and then eventually move to PhD. So Google used to offer pre-doctoral role uh, for the MTech student and Microsoft Research also used to offer research intern role. So these are temporary role. Uh, so the maximum time uh, period is two years. Uh, so this role will be offered to you for two years. And the idea of this role is that you will be joining a lab uh, or, or, or a team in Google Research Lab or Microsoft Research Lab. You'll be working with that team. So you will be kind of an intern to that team and you will be helping them in, in doing research. So you'll be working on some research statement or research problem that these teams in Google Research or Microsoft Research is working on. 
and in return you know they will they will give you money obviously the salary is quite good uh, google research india is to uh, is to pay 18 lakhs per annum uh, ctc uh, for the for the pre doctoral role and microsoft research also on average is to pay 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh per month uh, to the research intern so the benefit is obviously you'll be getting some money and and the then the bigger benefit is that you, you might get uh, get an opportunity to publish a paper because two years is a big time uh, so you can you can uh, complete couple of papers and that you can you can publish uh, into into uh, different big conferences or uh, a star conferences and the second benefit is that you will get some recommendation later uh, from your team leads or whoever under whoever you are working in these different labs so that's why these two you know role you can you can think about if your plan is to work for a couple of years and then eventually go for phd preferably in abroad the next choice is to become an assistant professor in some private colleges there are a lot of private college days to recruit mtech students from iits and iisc uh, as, as their assistant professor uh, so these colleges are quite uh, renowned only like kids bhubaneswar is to you know recruit students uh, from iits and iisc uh, for assistant professor and i i think there are other reputed uh, private college also is to do these things so that is also one career opportunity will be there and package is also really good i mean they also is to offer around 15 lakhs per annum uh, to these assistant professors so if you are interested to you know move to academia or if if you have a knack of you know teaching students then these kind of profiles also you can you can think about the next choice would be academic research associate position or ra position so after mtech you can join uh, some lab in iits and isc as a ra position so different labs in these iits and isc they have funding for different projects and there they used to recruit students as research associate or research assistant position this is also kind of a internship uh, type of role where uh, you will be working under that project for uh, one to two years and you will be helping that professor to complete that particular project here also you'll be given some stipend but or salary but that is not that big i think around 35 to 45000 rupees per month you will be getting but the main benefit is again uh, you will get an opportunity to do publish a paper and the second thing is you will get another recommendation letter which will be helpful for you uh, for your phd admission in 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 future so that's why if you are if you are really interested to go for phd but immediately you don't want to join phd you want to do uh, some kind of research internship for few years and suppose you are not getting google research or microsoft research as research internship or pre-doctoral researcher then you can approach different iits and isc professor and join uh, their lab and work as a research associate for a couple of years the last and final career option what i am doing currently is to join phd curriculum so if you are someone uh, who is willing to do research uh, in in future life and who who is willing to do your phd uh, in some areas of computer science obviously you can you can join a phd program uh, you can join phd program in your own st- institution where you have done your mtech then you have to convert it i mean from mtech to phd or if you are interested to go for some other iit some other professor then also you can do that uh, you have to go through a phd admission procedure for that particular iit or if you are interested to go for abroad then again uh, it has a separate uh, you know selection procedure through which you have to go and then you can take admission there so yeah but you know here your motivation of doing research uh, is very important uh, because until unless you are not motivated enough i won't recommend it to join a phd program so this will be the final career option that you can join a phd program in india or abroad after your m taking uh, cse from indian institutions so yeah that's it guys that's it about the video i hope uh, i have i have clarified uh, everything related to the career opportunities that you will get if you do your m tech from indian institutions so let me know if you have any query or if you have any doubts in the comment section i'll try to answer them there and if you want to connect with me you can connect with me in the linkedin you can connect with me in the uh, in the instagram and also i have a telegram channel discussion group the link i'll be giving in the description you can join there uh, we used to discuss a lot of things there and don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked this video because that increase my reach and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when you upload a video you will get instant notification that's it about this video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye.